All right, guys. So let's take this deck out and see what's underneath. All right, all the screws are out, and here is what it's looking like inside. This piece was inside here, like this in the middle. I just took it out, and um, I looked for a couple of seconds, and I'm like, "What the hell is this? Why are this wires like that? And why are this brackets placed there?" So then I realized the Baja board was actually using the lithium. Uh, phosphate cells. Uh, this is a cell I bought about four or five years ago when I used it for my first projects. It has 12 amps and um, they don't have high discharge but if you buy them now, uh, the red colors, they can actually discharge 100 amp cells. So the system was eight pieces put right here like this, right? Eight pieces as you can see in the bracket. Uh, and there are four here and four over there. So uh, eight uh, multiplied by 3.3 volts. So that's somewhere 28 uh, uh, or 20, between 26 and 29 volts. Um, so not enough uh, power, I think. And only I think the highest they had uh, when I checked a couple of years ago was 18 amps. So um, I don't think this board run for too long with that battery. And uh, I don't think. Um, you had a lot of torque or power because they're not um, uh, designed to discharge a lot of um, amp. After looking at the bracket for, for a little bit, actually, uh, I'd like to say that this bracket is super well engineered and designed. It's very solid, it's very light, and um, the good part is that, I don't know if I'll be able to show this in the video, uh, when you put the cell like this, right, each bracket holds each side, here, you see there's enough space calculated so they don't touch and short each other. And uh, it holds, you see there's a groove right there, right here. It shows, let me grab it better so you can see. So, you see how well is machined? So there's space in between and you can run the wires and you connect the cells and they really tight and uh, this holds the body and holds the cells, uh, it's extra support between each other. So very well done very very smart so all this business all this mess is going to be out of here uh, the motors will be I'll cut the wires uh, this is a Kelly controller by the way uh, let's see if I can get there this is set so of the specs 24 to 48 volts 100 amps and uh, I'll be disconnecting this and I'll be running the wires through here all the way to the box have to put this uh, bracket back for the structural support or actually if I put the deck back I think deck will hold this together so I might not need this I'll see I'll think of that but um, now I'm thinking to do 16 P and 5 S and connect this so one pack of 5 S 16 in parallel and one pack of 5 S 16 in parallel so that's gonna be a lot of range so 10 S 16 P or I have to uh, do some math and uh, somehow figure out a pack of 6S 6S and less in parallel so that's gonna be tough uh, maybe I can group like 4 or 5, 20 or, or 3 or 5, 15 maybe I can put like this you know like 1 cell, 2 cell, so 1 cell is 15 15, 15, 15 and see how much I can fit all the way through I got it, the board I took all that nonsense out and I laid down the battery. So I initially wanted to do 12S. Now the problem is at 8S I get I will get about 35 I mean with the original uh, speed controllers that were on this Baja board and with this gearing um, they uh, advertise 35-37 miles an hour. Now if I go 10s that's gonna be about five to six miles faster so it's just let's say 35 40. Uh, 40 it's already a bit too fast and not safe so let's see if I go 12s that's another uh, 8 volts so it's another five to, to six or maybe even seven eight miles an hour I usually calculate about one mile per volt so let's say if I get five or six or eight that's gonna be between 45 and 48 uh, miles an hour which is definitely not safe definitely I would not go that fast if I keep 12s and it's gonna to be too fast I was thinking make a bigger gear that will increase the efficiency more range initially 12s the reason for choosing 12s is because uh, 
it's going to be higher voltage, lower amps, uh, and the system will run cooler, and it's so much more efficient. Now, at this gearing, it's not safe, so I was thinking, what if I get a bigger or make a bigger sprocket? And if you see on top here, there's plenty of clearance. But on the bottom, here I have maybe a quarter inch, which will give me some space. But on this side right here, I don't know if you guys can see, it's very close to the frame and there's no room at all. So the only option is to change the, the motor sprocket and the, I think this is 16 or 15, I have to double check. I can go 13 or maybe 12 and uh, since uh, we have here, I don't know if I can get in there, so you guys can see, um, yes, I think I can see it from here. There's, if you guys can see right there, there are uh, belt tensioners. So if I uh, get smaller sprocket here, I can uh, reduce the speed and uh, get more range and increase the torque. So uh, that's the initial uh, thought, but then laying down the batteries, here's how I'm going to put the VESC, uh, the fog box first. I'm going to put two here and two here, plenty of room, cover all these uh, holes. Um, and later I'll probably get the VEST 6. Um, but the initial problem that I had is lay out the batteries. Uh, and I did not know how to lay them uh, down. So here this battery is not uh, completely just a mock-up. So here I initially thought maybe I can do uh, one cell, two cells, three cells, four cells, five, and moving forward, right, till I reach 12. And then I was thinking, what if I put them in this layout, right? Maybe this is better and easier. I think this is actually better and easier for me to work. And I can actually do uh, um, Tesla-style fuses here. So if a cell goes bad, it just, you know, it just burns out. A um, uh, small resistor, a small uh, wire, thin wire burns out and just, you know, you replace it and you replace the battery. So... I might do that, or I maybe just use copper plates and give rigidity to the battery because this is going to be really rocking. It's going to be an off-road uh, board. Um, <clears throat> so this is still my questions, and I want to guys uh, see what you think. Which is the be best layout, this way or this way? Now this pack it's a 10s, 10p, and here I additionally put uh, more cells. So this how big will be 12s uh, compared to the space I have 12s. Uh, 10p. I was thinking, what if I just go 10s, 15 or 14p, and fill all the space with cells and put the speed controllers on the side, right? What do you guys think? Would you rather go 10s, 15p for crazy range, right? To be over 40 amps, or go 12s, 10p? What do you guys prefer uh, more? Um, what I was thinking, I can do 10s. 15p and then I can make a connector on top and I can lay it on a deck two more cells uh, 30 more cells uh, 15 and 15 and and I can connect to 12 if I need 12 or I can disconnect um, and, and use 10s It's gonna look maybe ugly. I'll have to make a nice cover over the deck uh, or I can just leave it 10s. What do you guys think? Would you prefer more to see 10s 15p or 12s 10p? Please let me know in the comments Another thing that I'm still debating, debating on is that if I do 10S 15P, it'll be uh, no BMS. Uh, I will be charging with this uh, charger, right? This power supply. Uh, I'll be able to charge up to 30 amps an hour. Uh, actually, let me fi let me see. So yeah, so that doesn't really actually matter. Uh, if I do 10S. I'll have a very simple uh, setup, one connector, one balance on the side here, uh, connector, uh, I think GTX, and I can charge with this and a shot and do it really fast. I can charge at 10 amps an hour, 20 amps an hour, or 30 amps an hour really fast and really safe and really easy. If I do 12S, um, I don't want to actually use BMS because BMS, first, first uh, reason is it is unsafe for me because if one of the cells goes bad, the, the, the charger and the 12 SBMS is not going to show me what's the issue. And will, let's say, one part of the battery will be fully charged or overcharged. 
the issue, the area where it has uh, batteries with issues would not get charged and that's a definitely no for me. I don't like BMS because it doesn't show you if there's any issues with the cells. This charger, on the other hand, will show you each cell, the voltage, and will actually, if there's any er error or issues, will show you and will not charge. And then you, you know, you'll, you'll know that you have to take it apart and you have to troubleshoot the battery and see what's the issue. Now, I would rather more incline towards 10S option. If I do 12S, then I'll have to do this battery configuration here. So, I'm actually show you so you guys see here. So, it will be two packs, right? Uh, here will be uh, an exit, right? This is the connector. So, I'll have 6S, 6S, and then I'll have to connect this into a 12S output, right? So this way I can still charge with, with uh, uh, this iCharger 3010B and I can connect in parallel and tar charge um, 6X to P also at 10, 15 amps an hour which will be really, really fast. Um, so I'm still debating should I go this route <clears throat> because <clears throat> 6S uh, plus 6X and having 12S will be more efficient and around, around cooler and will be a, a, a better system, more efficient, and will have um, longevity um, over 10S. Or should I go 10S, uh, where it's easier to charge, easier to maintain, uh, I can fill all this up with cells, put the speed controllers on the side, and just have a, a crazy, I don't know, 30 or, or over 35 miles in range. So, uh, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I really would like to see um, your comments and uh, maybe this will help me you know, to decide. Or if you have any suggestions or any other thoughts or any other ideas. Oh, by the way, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, I use the spacers for the cells. I think they're great. If you look, uh, they insulate very well the cells. And... Um, I think this is much better than having uh, any other material or actually uh, a lot of people build batteries and they touch each other. Um, that's definitely not safe. Another uh, thing that I forgot to mention, let me take the cells out. So I'm not in the way. And uh, there's so many things that I want to share with you guys and I'm not sure if I missed anything. Uh, the cells I chose are Samsung 30Qs. The reason I chose them because I could not get my hands on 2700B cells. They're not available and they will not be available for a while. Uh, and uh, these cells are much smaller. I can fit more with 2700B cells or A. I don't know how much I'll be able to fit here. Probably only four rows. And um, they're cheaper. So if you calculate uh, the density of energy you get uh, with these cells versus 2700 B cells, uh, this will be much cheaper. So th these cells are a winner. Now, uh, last thing that I think I forgot to uh, share with you guys is, so this right now is set as uh, 10S and P. Um, I just did it so I can see how much space they take. So my question is for you guys, um, should I mount them this way or should I mount them this way? Now, if I put it this way, uh, I can use the top space. It's almost flushed with the with the deck, or, or the other way. Maybe this way is better. I don't know. So, um, so many questions, so many uh, decision has to be made. Um, and I, I don't know which way is better. So, um, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, um, I think I'm, I'm more inclined to split in this pack and having two six S's and connect them outside. Um, maybe I should go 10 S. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, so, this is the update. Um, guys, please uh, place your comments and let me know what you think and uh, what would you like better and uh, if there's any... Uh, DIY e-bike builders up there that watch this video, please, I would uh, love to, to read your comments and see what you guys think about this. Maybe there are other options, other solutions, maybe um, 
there's something up there that I actually uh, I missed or I overlooked so please uh, place your comments below and um, I think pretty soon this uh, board will be done and we'll be able to uh, test ride it. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention, um, this motors are I think about 6354 or 6350 millimeters, they're pretty pretty short so I was thinking later eventually I can actually go to 74 there's plenty of room here that can go at least 64, 74 and put a much stronger motor and uh, the splits here are adjustable, you can move, lift it up and down and adjust the tension so really really good design right here, really like it so this are the updates guys um, let me know what you think and uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one